BJP has announced nine uh, candidates from uh, Telangana for the upcoming Lok Sabha polls and we are joined by one candidate from Chevella, Konda Vishweshar Reddigan. Sir, you have been a senior leader and also a hard-working leader in the Chevella constituency. Now that uh, the BJP has announced the ticket, how do you feel? What is your reaction? I felt it was a overjoy. Uh, I felt overjoyed, but it's also a foregone conclusion because the party has been encouraging me and asking me to work for the party and I've been working for the last two years. But literally my election campaign started in January itself, almost two, week, two months back. And uh, I've been at it because uh, regardless of when I, whether I get the ticket or not, it will contribute to the party, it will help the party. And now that the party reaffirmed faith in me, I feel very happy. And uh, I feel I'm recognized and I'll continue my hard work till the end of election. Sir, like I said, uh, you were already working in Chevella constituency previously, once you have contested from Congress, then from BRS, now from BJP. So what do you think is the equation that is going to work, sir? Earlier in Congress, what had missed, uh, from uh, BRS, what had missed, and now what is going to uh, work for uh, this election is what you're thinking. BRS government, the general trend in the local politics, South India, I guess North India also, is everyone jumps into the ruling party. But I, being an MP, in the ruling party, while I had one more year, I already submitted my resignation. I am the only politician who jumped out of the ruling party because in front of my own eyes, the party which was supposed to develop Telangana and was supposed to be the salvation of Telangana started looting, cheating and betraying Telangana with projects like Kaleshwaram and various other scams. So I left the ruling party and I feel I am exactly where I am for the people. I joined TRS for the sake of Chevela, but the same people, TRS party was betraying the people of Chevela. There was hope that Congress party will defeat KCR and will at least elevate the status of the politics here because nobody is as bad as uh, uh, TRS. They introduced a new concept in India, unknown, it's totally unknown, a concept called family, family rule. Yes, there are dynasties ruling, but never in India there was a family rule. The only place I can think of is Sri Lanka. Nine members, here there are five, six members of a family ruling, and they destroyed Telangana. Joined uh, Congress with the hope they will defeat. In fact, KCR was scared of Congress, but uh, and that's why he held, uh, uh, he could not uh, run the government for five years. He resigned and uh, had a uh, election five, six months earlier. And in that, the entire Congress party got sold out. Two-thirds of the people, and in my constituency, almost everybody except two, two respectable gentlemen from Congress, they stayed in Congress, but the entire Congress party got sold out. And subsequently, two-thirds of the Congress was cheaply bought by BRS. So I am where I am, and BJP is the party which has a core ideology, which is nationalism which means nation first also means you have to develop the states which is Telangana and the cities and my Chevala parliament. So I am in BJP and I am still where I am. I should have probably joined BJP in the first place. But BJP was non-existent. Ten years ago BJP was almost 2-3% vote share. But now from that we came to 7%. From 7 we came to 14%. And I am happy in my constituency it's 21%. So you have What's been uh, raising a uh, voice or, uh, you know, uh, against the BRS regime earlier. Now that the Congress has come into power, Congress is claiming that they're going to uh, grab at least 16 seats in this Lok Sabha and uh, not leaving anything for the BRS and BJP. So what do you have to say to the Congress government? What would be the agenda, especially for Chevella constituency and also in Telangana? Bravado. I'm going to win 16. I'm, uh, by the way, does it mean they're leaving one for OSC? We are not, not even leaving the... Uh, 17th one to OAC, we are fighting everything. They know they are losing and they do not know what to fight on. What are they asking for? Why are they asking the vote for? Who are they asking the vote for? We proudly ask, vote for Modi ji. Because of development, he raised the status of India internationally, from financially from 10th to 5th. And uh, his money and his schemes are trickling down to the villages. And it is regardless of which community of which religion six everybody is benefiting and people are beginning to realize so cutting across all communities there's a trend towards modi so we are asking what for modi or fir fir ek bar modi sarkar or ab ki bar chao par i dare congress to 
आस्क वोट फॉर राहुल गांधी और इस बार राहुल गांधी और इस बार राहुल गांधी के कांग्रेस को वोट करो इफ दे डू दैट दे विल लूज डिपॉजिट दे आर वेरी वेल अवेयर सो दे कांग्रेस स्ट्रैटेजी इन तेलंगाना एंड दे थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज ओनली टू ऑफर अनवायबल फ्रीबीज एंड से वोट फॉर दैट वी विल गिव यू दिस वील गिव यू वी हैव सीन वॉट दे हैव डन दे आर नॉट एबल टू डू दे प्रोमिस टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर एवरी वुमेन एवरी पर वुमेन वाइट कार्ड होल्डर दे आर नॉट एबल टू डू दे एग्री दे डिसाइड टू इंक्रीज द पेंशन टू फोर थाउजेंड दे आर नॉट एबल टू डू दे आर नॉट एबल टू डिलीवर एनी ऑफ दैट एंड पीपल हैव स्टॉप बिलीव सो दे फर्स्ट स्ट्रैटेजी इज ऑफ अनवायबल फ्रीबीज द सेकेंड स्ट्रैटेजी इज डू फॉल्स प्रोपरकंड अपोजिशन अपोजिशन कैंडिडेट एंड टारनिश दम सो ओनली टू दे के नॉट आई डेयर दम टू आस्क what for rahul gandhi so while you speak about uh, rahul gandhi telangana leaders are already making a there's a buzz that rahul gandhi will contest from telangana which seat is not confirmed if it is chevalda what would you like to say i'll be the happiest i'll be the happiest but he'll scoot he will not have the courage he'll look at a safe seat like uh, uh, kamam or something else and uh, he cannot afford also is he going to uh, do uh, venard or uh, Chevela, Chevela, and Chevela, or Chevela and uh, and Amethi. Let's see that. So, what is the agenda, sir, for especially for the Chevela this time? Will it be the caste equation that is going to help you, or any other uh, like development, or what? What is that is going to help you, sir? Mainly the caste equation. Do you think party has, uh, you know, uh, opted uh, this caste equation uh, before uh, giving you this ticket? In hardcore politics, caste equations do matter, and uh, unfortunately. and every party will try to do their own calculation sometimes if a particular caste is very strong and two parties are doing the same caste the third one will do a another caste so every party looks at everything strategically when is this thing but i don't think that's the uh, that's the strength of bjp at all a caste politics is not the strength of uh, bjp and uh, it has never been it will not be the primarily this thing is on the what modi government can deliver today if you know we have current for the light bulbs to glow it is because of modi ji today if the poor people are able to eat rice it is because 5 kg is free rice today if a farmer grows rice the minimum support price is being given by the central government today if the farmer they has to fertilize his crops almost 92% Uh, subsidy is given by Modi. A 2,400 rupee bag costs only 266 rupees. And not just this, the amount of funds he has given directly to the lower forms of governments, that is the uh, sarpanchas, is phenomenal. He is the only person in Telangana that the funds are given. Uh, in the previous government, KCR has taken this away, and he has he has taken credit for all the. welfare schemes of modi and what he has done is free bees which are successful so the last man in bjp we have this antodaya nationalism is the core philosophy and to achieve that to make india number 1 you don't make the rich richer but you make the poorest man richer that is antodaya and that is why all the schemes are directed to that a poor regardless of religion and that is why you cannot give reservations you cannot give schemes based on religion so that is the success for india that's a formula secret success of modi ji is antodaya sir as you earlier mentioned about oac we see that this time the party has given a ticket to a woman that to in a very you know bastion constituency for aimim yeah. so what is the message that the party is putting up what is your understanding about it i think uh, we should not see this candidate as a man or a woman the candidate is a good and strong candidate who has the courage to stand up she happens to be a woman and that's fine and uh, and uh, we think a lot of muslim women are going to vote for modi ji i know for sure in fact i have personal experiences where the husband calls me and says but aapko kare then uh, i'll give to my wife and she'll tell she made him call me to say support for modi ji so my target if really and i think modi ji will be the happiest if at least 20 to 30 percent of the muslims vote for bjp and uh, we are looking at that and we are not looking at that candidate as a man or a woman she is a strong candidate and uh, uh, the unfortunate thing is sometimes uh, polarization helps and uh, there's a uh, there's a 
saying in Telangana in Hyderabad is that uh, polarization helps BJP and MIM. But I think we are going on the agenda of development and social development as well as economic development. On that, the, if 50% of the Muslim women vote for the BJP lady candidate, we are through. So it is not impossible to, de uh, that, uh, to defeat uh, Asad in OAC or MIM in its bastion. Thank you so much for speaking with us. So this was Chevalda, a BJP candidate, Konda Vishweshwar, with camera person, Abdul Bashir, Hyderabad.